हम लोगों ने मिरर फार्मूला के बारे में हम लोग पढ़े थे वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टडी अबाउट द मिरर फार्मूला एंड देन वी विल डिसाइड टुडे अबाउट द मैग्निफिकेशन प्रोड्यूस बाय द स्पेरिकल मिरर ओके नाउ लेट अस सी अबाउट द मैग्निफिकेशन प्रोड्यूस बाय द स्पेरिकल मिरर actually uh in the last uh, discussions we have seen that here 1y f is equal to 1y u plus 1 by v this is the our mirror formula and uh, we are going to link the meaning of the magnification uh actually the magnification produced by the spherical mirror is a uh, linear magnification ha huh. magnification produced by the spherical mirror is called linear magnification and uh, this has symbol is small m usually we used to write and uh, fundamental concept of the magnification is that in comparison to the height of the object and height of the image these two things are compared to each other the actually the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object is equal to the magnification produced by the spherical mirror so if we are taking height of the image uh, suppose we are taking it uh, uh, height of the image as h dash suppose we are writing for simplicity h dash is the height of image and it is the height of the object height of the object so according to the definitions we can write here m is equal to h dash by h and we can think it as formula for magnification formula for magnification the another meaning of the magnification is also related uh, which is here m is equal to minus v by u this very magnification is also equal to the negative of the image distance to the object distance image this so we have here two formula of magnification produce one is the magnification produce a and another formula of the formula b and this very mirror formula for the spherical mirror is the last formula we have any given name but these two one a and one b is given for the magnification and we can define easily as the ratio of the image distance to the object distance with the negative sign is called linear magnification produced by the spherical mirror and we should also take care of that uh, minus sign should must be put before the minus sign must be uh, put before writing the ratio of the v and u and the meaning where u u is equal to u is equal to yes the ratio of the image distance or uh, image distance and object distance u is here u is here of the distance and v is here image distance so now we will make use of this two concept of height of image to the height of object and 
uh, ratio of the image distance to object distance, which is called linear magnification. Now let us see how to relate this uh, magnification formula with the uh, formula stabilized between the relation uh, of u, v, and f uh, according to the spherical mirror formula. Let us see how to relate it with the. So by writing the mirror formula, one by f equal to one by one by f equal to one by u plus one by v. Now, when we multiply this formula with the u to both the side, suppose that u by u plus u by u by v, u cancel out, it becomes equal to one here, and uh, u by v, and left side u by f. Now how to relate this very uh, formula? We know that here, we know that magnification is the minus v by u. So keeping in mind the meaning, uh, we first write here uh, by keeping u and f with the minus sign, we get here u by v, and u by v means here uh, u minus f by f equal to u by v. So we can write here in place of in place of v by u, we can write here. And uh, this becomes minus m according to the definition of the magnification. We see here that m becomes m becomes f divided by f minus u. So we get such relation. This is very important relation in the sense of magnification produced third formula. If we are given the relation between focal length and object distance and magnification, we can easily write as f by f minus u. And similarly, when we consider the image distance of the object. We can once again relate the focal length with the mirror formula. So in the next step, here once again writing the formula for one by f is equal to one by u plus one by v. And now what happens? Multiplying to both the side by v. Now how to write the formula for v by v? Once again, we cut it to get one and V by U by using the concept of the magnification M, which is nothing but minus V by U. So we will put here V by U as minus M plus one and V by F. Now, M is written to the left hand side and v minus f return to the right hand side. So we get the relation between magnification, image distance, and focal length of the mirror. So this is our accurate relation obtained. So we get the fourth formula for magnification and concept of magnification is utilized in the mirror formula. So there are so many utilizations of the magnification produced by mirror and uh, different questions are also given in such type of the formula. Uh, we will later on show this in the next relation. Now, how this magnification produced by the spherical mirror 
decide whether the object is real or virtual ah the image of magnified these are decided by the terms uh if 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 the total magnification magnitude of the magnification suppose we have taken m if it is greater than 1 if magnitude of the magnification is greater than 1 then image is magnified image is magnified this is the point 1 important point second point is that if magnitude of the magnification is less than 1 the image is demonized the image is the image is demonized so these two case decide whether the object uh the image formed by the spherical mirror is magnified or demonized the third case if magnitude of the magnification is equal to 1 then image is of the same size as the object the image is of the same size the image is images images of the same size as the object as the object and last one is the last one is the fourth condition if m is positive anyhow if the value of m is positive what happens then image is vertical image is vertical image is vertical and erect virtual and erect virtual image is virtual and erect virtual and erect when magnification is positive then image is virtual and erect second point if magnification is negative image is real image is real image is real and inverted so this very point is very much important to decide 